Welcome to the Bearded Outdoors podcast. I'm your host and co-owner of Bearded Outdoors, Reese Richards. This podcast is going to be just like you're sitting on your grandpa's tailgate. We're going to be talking about everything, faith, beards, and the great outdoors. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. We really hope you enjoy and continue to do better and be better. God bless. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Bearded Outdoors podcast. It's been a few weeks. We've been pretty busy, um, but this one is something that's been on our hearts. Amber and I have um, listened to some podcasts. You know, we listen to podcasts about every day, and this is something that's kind of been on our hearts. So I decided to have Amber on the podcast, and me, her, and I, Amber is my wife, if you guys don't know, her and I are going to. Just talk about some things relating to the times we're living in today. And that is about complainers complaining. And this podcast is not a podcast of us complaining about complainers. Um, It's just that everyone needs to hear about this message in the times that we're living now, today, um, 2022. So, hi, Amber. Hello. What's going on? Oh, just nap time. Yeah. This is my couple hours to get anything accomplished. Um, So, if Reese and I don't get stuff done during uh, our littlest one's nap time, then we have to wait till bedtime. Um, And half the time, we are exhausted. So, also, allergy season is in full force here in Florida so we're both a little sniffly and stuffy, so forgive that, please. So before we get into this one, um, if you guys could subscribe, whatever channel you're listening on right now, there are buttons for supporting, whether it's sharing, whether it's reviewing, whether it's um, subscribing, thumbs up, any of those things, all these different platforms that they have out there, there are ways to somehow spread and and push our podcast's episodes or channel to more people. Our podcast growing allows us to create more content, reach a bigger audience, which allows people to know more about our brand and our mission and honestly that you don't need to live your life alone and on your own circumstances and trying to handle and do everything on your own. We all know that that is just a setting yourself up for failure and God is in control of every aspect of our life and he already knows our plan. So for us to sit here and try to, um, you know, manipulate that plan and try to control everything is pretty uh, silly. silly. (laughs) So this episode is, like I said, complaining about your situations and your circumstances and the life right now that we're living in. Things that you can't control. Hey, yeah. babe, have you noticed Have you noticed gas prices lately? Yeah, a little bit. A little, little bit. bit. I know, they're getting kind of crazy. So, <laughs> you're probably laughing. If you, you can't get on social media or anything really without seeing anything about gas prices um we know inflation's going on um we know why covid politics gas prices all of the things and it's really, wood prices yeah. prices of wood i can't even like redo my trailer nothing because it's just like the wood's rotting out of it and i can't do anything with it but i can't replace even- it Talk about housing, housing market. Housing, yeah, everything we've is been just... been living at my in-laws, or I'm sorry, his in-laws, my parents, for almost two years now. So, everything. It, it just, it kind of sucks. Um, and we could sit here and we could just complain and complain and complain about it. And that's pretty much, we get caught in it. Like, we're guilty. We we complain. Um, and I know you complain, too, because you're a human. We complain and... in the background. We try and make everything yes. that we post about and talk about 
you know, that, that perspective of positivity because we're just, we're about growing other people because so, mm-hmm. those people are what we, what we're surrounded by all, all the time. So I feel those direct people that we come in contact with every day, if we can try and bring positivity to them, then they will always, they will start to transform their negative mindset into positive. And next thing you know, you're surrounding yourself with positivity and it's about it's about uh being consistent and repetitive so think about this you're getting up in the morning you're on your way to work or wherever you are going for the day and you go to fill up your gas tank and you know it it sucks it's it's just ridiculous right now but you snap a picture of it and you post it to social media which well, don't we all complain about social media being negative anymore as well? It depends um, who you're following. Yes. So we've, we've kind of went through and I'm talking about the majority of people. So you post it to your social media, your stories, and next thing you know, you're imprinting on your day. It, it, it's so simple. You and what? It's, you're imprinting. On your day. Uh, Something guess, yeah. that's so simple. You know, you're filling up your gas tank to get where you need to go. But it, it's it's negative. And what I'm trying to say is we're, we need to learn to go from complaining to praying to God about your situation. Whether it's you don't have enough money to keep filling up your gas tank or you do have enough money to keep filling up your gas tank. And no matter which way, like if you're in that valley or you're on that mountain, you still need to be in prayer with the Lord. And you need to be thankful for what he is giving you, no matter so, what that is. It's just about creating a new perspective about your situation that you already have to go through. It goes life. with everything. I mean, yes. it's... Exactly. goes with everything from something as simple as you go in to brush your teeth and the toothpaste cap's open and there's toothpaste everywhere because your four-year-old decided (laughs) he wanted to try some new toothpaste that he hasn't tried before. Mommy and daddy's toothpaste. (laughs) Something as small as that, Mm -hmm. it's, you know, you have a child that's healthy that is wanting to brush his teeth and is interested in the toothpaste situation. and so true. So that's your perspective. So is it... You know, is it something that you want to yell and throw the toothpaste, you know, at your child and say, why did you do this? Or is it one of those situations where you laugh and you smile and you see your blessings and you clean that toothpaste off and you bring your kid in the in the bathroom and, and teach him about the new toothpaste and let him know not to swallow it because it's not like the other toothpaste. And, you know, it's kind of like everything in life can revolve around perspective and that's whether it's inflation whether it's the gas prices whether it's you know little stuff like the toothpaste thing it's all about mindset and it's mm-hmm. the guess what those gas prices are at a dollar 25 what we're going to be complaining about what are you going to complain about now <laughs> i mean it's just like people complain about money all the time but once you finally oh i'm going to make you know my goal is to make a thousand bucks a week well once you make a thousand bucks a week guess what you're going to have new problems you're going to have new issues valleys and mountains come and go they there's not it's not like oh i reached a mountain and it's just going to be a mountain top the whole rest of my life exactly. like that's not how things work if we always had positivity if we all not not if we always had positivity but if our circumstances were always how we wanted them to be then we would never have a you know a a mountaintop there would be no such thing as mountaintops or valleys it's yeah it's your valley is what allows you to have a mountaintop and vice versa and that's why they say praise you in this storm and praise you in the mountaintops and the valleys because you're always going to have them and if the lord sees that you trust him enough to be content in a struggle or be content in a valley then exactly he's gonna bring those mountaintops to you what's your favorite bible verse that you wear on your wrist all the time ephesians um, well i have one band that literally is black with really bright white writing that says it's not about me and then i have the um ephesians six thirteen, which i think it's ephesians six eleven, that specifically says put on the full armor of god 
Yes. Um, so, if you're wearing the full armor of God, what is the armor of God? I believe, and the Bible tells us, putting on the armor of God means filling your life, your mind, your heart with scripture. Because that's what God gave us. That is it. Well, I'm sorry. That's not it. But God gave us the Bible. And the Bible is basically our lifeline. Like, that's how we are supposed to, you know, eat, sleep, live our life um, based on what the Bible says. Those are God's words, and that's what he wanted us to have. So if we put on, if we study the scripture and we are we spend time in prayer with God, then that is putting on the armor of God. And yes. I think that is so good, and we need that armor of God because... Um, the uh, another verse I want to share, John chapter uh, John chapter ten verse ten, is a thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and that thief is the devil. And just as God is real and alive, so is the devil. And no matter how much and how close you are to God, you are still not uh, immune from the devil. When they say you're saved, that means you're. You're saved when you die. You don't die and, you know, you actually have a place that you can go after you die. That's what being saved means. It's not, doesn't mean you're, you know, you're, it means you're saved from sin and basically when you sin, which we all do, you ask for forgiveness and that is the Lord forgiving you of your sins and you're supposed to work on those sins and you're supposed to work on trying to get rid of as many and and focus all back to perspective and focus on what you're doing and focus you know as long as he sees that <clears throat> you're sitting here trying to better yourself then that's what that's what really all of it's about um so true so this this whole inspiration of this podcast came from me reading a post, um, nothing crazy, just someone, I think it was actually one of our team members posted a little thing and it says, complaining isn't a fruit of the spirit and it is detrimental to the peace, joy, and patience that does come from the spirit. So when you complain, how I was saying earlier, it, it gives you a negative mindset and it's going to spiral into the rest of your day so you're going to be missing out on the joy of other parts of life because you're so consumed in what is what stinks so bad right now like these gas prices so another thing too i looked up actually it was crazy that i saw that verse or that post and then i saw another post later and to me that's like always an extra validation from God that this is something you need to focus on and study a little more right now when you see like back to back I don't want to say coincidences but things that I believe all come from God but it said complaining kept the children of Israel from the promised land and it can keep you from yours so the book of I'm sorry, I don't remember the book right now exactly, but the story of the Israelites where Moses took them out of their horrible situation from being slaves and brought them out of that, they did nothing but complain about this and that. And There's always something to complain about. Yes, and they That's lost. The they <clears throat> never made it to the promised land that God had for them. And think about what your promised land might be. So what are you so stuck on today with the complaints and whatever it is going on in your life that is keeping that could be keeping you from your promised land that God has for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Something to think about. <laughs> it's just uh, all of it comes down to one first thing you do when you wake up is you thank god for that breath and then you that that is that's the first positivity of your thankfulness and then you continue that throughout your day and 
something as simple as going and getting a bowl of cereal or um you know a cup of coffee just it's not weird to talk to god 24 7 you guys think it's Mm -hmm. like you know i was just talking to the youth kids i did a youth hunt over the weekend guided and you know that they john one of the guide coordinators and stuff he he was talking about you know what is what's your main goals and this and that and one of the kids said you know um one of the kids was talking about not failing school wise and he's a 16 year old kid and i let i kind of let them talk about it and everything and i was thinking about it the whole time and then i got to a point where i'm like so this kid's goal is the highest point of this goal or let's say his goal isn't to make a's his mindset is set on I just don't want to fail. So guess what that's going to do? And this is a, this is an example that you could put in any perspective, but if you set your goal to you know just be on that failing mark, then once you, what, you get D's and you're going to be happy. Why wouldn't you set your goal higher than that? Mm. Set your perspective to A's. Even if you think in your mind you can't do it, you change that perspective to I can get A's and then guess what? You get a C and you're happy. So as long as you're, you know, waking up in the morning, talking to God first, and then changing your perspective throughout the day with goals at the end of the day of being not crazy, crazy high, but higher than what you normally would. I'm going to get five things on my list done today. And I normally say I'm going to get three things done. Well, guess what? You say you're going to get five things done on your list. You will get three things done three things done and you're going to be happy if you say i'm going to get three things done on my list you're going to end up getting one or two things done and you're not going to be happy because your goal was three so all of this you know the complaining stuff the goals it all has to do with the same thing and i don't know 100 percent what that same thing is it's just it all wraps around putting god first it all wraps around putting that that positivity and that light that jesus brings through the spirit inside of you to everybody around you and that's making your goals higher people will see that people see that you know you're normally a d student next thing you know you have b's you know why because instead of goal of not failing is now goal of a's they see that getting better that's light that's hope that could be hope for that teacher that you know hey yeah. this kid's getting better i must be doing something right when and in that, reality can... all all that kid did is just change his mindset to what he's been doing and what he's normally used to doing every day so change your normal mm-hmm. to positive to you know perspective of positivity and that could go across the whole board of your life every single day and the thing is don't kick yourself in the face because you know one day you're not you know positive or for 10 minutes you did say something negative or you did complain and then all of a sudden you you remember this podcast that you listened to that was talking about not complaining that's the thing that's the good thing about the lord is there's never it's never too late to ask for forgiveness and it's also never too late to bring him into your heart and it's it goes you could fail today and it that's valleys and mountaintops same concept you're going to always have highs you're going to always have come down to lows it's same as you're always going to have positivity around i mean you're always going to have negativity around try to bring the positivity around you're always trying to do better and be better at least 1% every single day and that's all you know the lord really asks for you is is to just he wants you to see that you are trying to better yourself every single day through him which has to do with your personal relationship with him. And that's why God gave us Jesus. For he came and died for us imperfect flawed people. So and it gives us grace for doing all these imperfect horrible things that we do. And we have him to carry that for us. And how many times I'm so guilty of not giving it to him like I'm supposed to, like he wants us to. And I just carry it around and carry it around. 
And that's just when, you know, negative thing, complaining, all that stuff spirals. And I should be giving myself a little more grace. Or I give it to God and he gives me the grace. So always remember that too. Like you don't have to carry around these heavy burdens that you are carrying around on a daily basis. Yeah. I mean, we always, it seems that it's, it's crazy every time I get in a conversation with somebody or you or this or that, it always comes down to, it always comes down to perspective. I mean, you're talking everything that we, I mean, everything we're talking about now, every podcast you listen to, I think I, I perspective is probably one of the biggest words mm-hmm. that you can think about and do and, and change in your life. And I mean that that literally should be on a t-shirt perspective and yeah because Just, I mean that's everything it your is. mind, your positivity, your light, your negativity, your valleys, your mountains. Is that physically good for me? Is that physically bad for me? Is that good for God or is that good for me? Is that all of that stuff? Your grades. Mm, grades aren't really perspective because A's, B's, and C's, that's straight right there on the paper. That, you know, but perspective all comes down to how do you think about those situations? They could be negative in your mind, but if you make them positive in your mind and make them, or they could be negative you know, visually getting a flat tire, look at those things in a different perspective. You know, that middle of Atlanta getting a flat tire that one year, that's the calmest and and most, I mean, the calmest and the the brightest memory that I have when it comes down to, you know, the things that I used to struggle with and that I'm now proud of. And the thing is, that was like, that's when we weren't even really that close to the Lord. I mean, we were going to church, but it wasn't a relationship with him of talking to him every second kind of deal. It was one mm-hmm. of those, go to church on Sundays, call myself a Christian, but don't live a Christian life. And for some reason, every time I think of situations to where I actually purposely changed my perspective around mm-hmm. to positive when crappy things were happening to me, that that's one vivid memory that I could literally tell you every minute for that whole hour of the of that flat tire in Atlanta what happened how it happened and how everything was just so smooth after the fact because I was calm I was relaxed yeah. and I just said hey this happened it was going to happen either way I can't do anything about it. We ended up having one of the best breakfasts we ever had. Never had. <laughs> Next to a. It was like a Peruvian Peruvian breakfast food or something like that. Just so awkward and, and not awkward, but so different. Uh-huh. And the guy's like, have you guys eaten breakfast? And it was, he was standing out there. We came up with a flat tire. The whole situation, I guess I could tell you. So we were driving to West Virginia. I could think, right? Mm-hmm. And, and this was after I took over. Cause yeah, so we I was sleeping, and I, I think I woke up to Amber saying something's not right. And, I mean, all the tires seemed fine, blah, blah, blah. Well, we are in... In the middle of Atlanta. Uh, in the middle of Atlanta. I think it's six lanes on each side, and it was about 8 a.m., so... You're talking on a Eight weekday, yeah. so morning work commute traffic here. Yeah, so that's basically had, it's where when you drive through Atlanta or any big city and they have the really high cement walls uh-huh. on the sides of the highway and the median is probably 15, 20 feet wide. And it was Jace's first birthday that day, the morning of, yep. I didn't realize that. But. Yep, I remember So. That. I wake up from a nap after, which I rare, I always drive, but this is a West Virginia trip, so it was far, and I wake up to Amber saying there's something wrong with the tire, and I said, all right, well, we can't make it to the next exit, because it was bad, and I didn't want to mess up the vehicle, so I had her just pull over on the side of the median, and you're talking crazy traffic, worst situation that I, you know... You could think of it as the worst situation that you've had and, you know, that whole year kind of deal. But I realized that if I wasn't calm, this was a very, very uh, dangerous situation. Yeah. So I realized that I had to be calm and I had to, you know, make everything correct. So 
I had her pull over. I said, grab Jace, walk up about 30, 40 yards in front of the car and hug that wall and just stand there because, you know, there's crazy traffic in the morning. Someone could hit the vehicle and you would rather be oh, outside yeah. of it standing on the side than being inside of it. And also, if I'm sitting here changing a tire and I got smoked, it would, you know, that would not be a good thing to see or anything anyway. So I just oh, said, gosh. hey, go stand over there. I changed a tire. Well, the spare tire was flat. So we had the messed up tire. The spare tire that I just put on is flat. So we still had to hit an exit and try and find a tire place. So we go up the next exit, get over to this tire place, and it was the smoothest thing. There was cars in every single bay. The guy walked out. We told him we were super calm. We told him what was going on. I wasn't like, hey, this needs to happen now. We're on a tight schedule. Like, no, it was just talking to this guy. He saw I had, you know, my young kid with me and my wife. And he literally was like, you guys eat breakfast. Go over here. This place is super good. And we just, it was actually in the same shopping center as the tire place. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was, we ate breakfast. We walked back. It was And done. our vehicle was done. And the tire was filled up. The tire was back on. The donut was back under. Like, it we was We could just, have been saved from a major accident. It was just the the smoothest, most relaxing thing. We got to eat breakfast that we've never had before. And just that that situation of taking a breath changing the perspective and just going with it you know road rage and stuff like that it's like dude one you don't know what other people what other people's mindsets or what other people are going through so why do you want to live your life like in that perspective of i'm going to be negative all the time so it's it's hard i was just 20 minutes ago in a negative perspective and just upset at i don't even remember now what it was i've just Today, I just feel kind of blah. I don't know. Um, it's, that, it's that Monday morning time change kind of day. <laughs> but yeah, I slept later, turned off my alarm, to... this and that. But the reality is, we know when this these... This is a perfect podcast for that. These days end at 8.30, 9 o'clock at night for us sometimes. Sometimes it's midnight. But that's just... Uh, I don't know. I just kind of, I woke up late, was supposed to go to the gym, didn't go to the gym, and I mean, I could easily right now just be in, just, I, I need to change this whole day around. So we just sat down, we just went through all of our lists and our notes, we just organized our planner app that we have, and we just were, you know, I'm onboarding a company tomorrow for my social media managing, management company, I'm onboarding my first um, brand tomorrow. Uh, um, so I'm we're just getting on, a lot of things going. I'm working on my new blog. Uh, Reese is helping me with that, so stay tuned for that website. Um, it's not live yet, but it's coming soon, um, and there'll be a way to subscribe to that too if you guys are interested in what I have to say. <laughs> yeah, so we're just trying to basically... She's been doing a lot with Bearded Outdoors since we started. You know, I would have a full-time job here and there, and she would take care of all that stuff. And finally got to a point where it's like, man, you know, we're known for Mr. and Mrs. Bearded Outdoors, but, like, that's not that's not her deep down inside. I mean, she loves doing it, and we love the outdoors and all that, but I just I feel that she, you know, that's why I'm willing to put all my time to make her satisfied and happy in a sense of her being able to do something on her own. You know, I do this podcast, you know, I go out and get the content for the YouTube videos. So I'm in front of the camera on that and, you know, going on my lives and stuff on social media. And it, I just feel like she needs that, that one thing that she could just own without me being involved and her just run it. And they know her as Mrs. Bearded Outdoors. So it's going to be Miss Bearded Outdoors dot com, I think. Uh, I think that's what we got, and yeah. uh, I created her some logos and everything, and she's going to come out with some awesome. merch, and she's going to do whatever she feels the I Lord might. is guiding her to do. She has some you know, life life circumstances she wants to talk about, and it's going to be a blog. I might start her, her own podcast, I too. Say, I, I might know. start a podcast. I might just read my blogs on the podcast for people who don't like to sit down and read blogs. Yeah. And our read in general, so you can just listen on the go. That's the main thing with all of our content is like we want to try and hit every aspect. There might be an older gentleman that doesn't have social media, but he listens to podcasts every single day. So those, you know, you will always get those different different 
um, types of people that utilize different platforms on a daily basis. I know a lot mm-hmm. of people that have Facebooks, but they don't have Instagram. So it's like focusing on that one social media platform isn't going to get your message to everybody that you can reach it to. So we are on YouTube to podcast. This podcast is streaming on every, almost every single streaming platform you can think of. You type in the Bearded Outdoors podcast and it pops up. Um, so YouTube, this, uh, Instagram, get Facebook. get TikTok going, babe. No, I'm not about <laughs> it. I'm not about Tiki Tok. Tiki Tok. <laughs> But I don't know, we're just trying to hit every platform and, you know, it, it was <clears throat> it was about spreading the brand and now it's about spreading the the, the voice of the brand now because people are starting to understand, you know, and, and hear the story of what we're about. Yeah, it's taken four years, but we're finally hitting all these platforms to now, if someone only has this, you know, listens to this podcast... They will eventually go to the website and see that, oh, now they're going to start watching some YouTube videos of it. Like that's, We want to bring everything around that people will be attracted to in, different, in a different ideal than just, hey, here's a Bible, read it. We want to be able to explain aspects of the Bible, explain everyday life. Doing that through the outdoors, through the stuff we've went through... And trying to put that in the forefront of our vision and our mission and what we talk about instead of putting that at the harvest end, which means you go hunting, you're thinking about hunting, you're thinking about big bucks, you're thinking about this and that, you get a big buck, and then you thank God. We want to put ours, our, our talk about the Lord in front of everything because he is Amen. supposed to be in the front of your life and the front of everything you do. You couldn't hunt without God. So this podcast is about talking about faith first, talking about God first, and then we throw a little bit of outdoors, whether it's hunting or fishing or something yep. at the end of it. It's like that cupcake that Robert Arrington talked about. And if you want to know what that's about, you check out the YouTube video. Yeah, YouTube video pod slash or podcast. podcast. There's an audio the- and video of it. But long story short, that it goes... No, you can't tell them. They have to go listen if they haven't already. And if they have listened, then they know. It's a okay. teaser. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all we have today um, on this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe and share and review. And like I said, not every one of those buttons or options are on every single platform. So Apple Podcasts, you can actually subscribe and you can actually put stars and you can actually write a review. I don't believe... Uh, You could also do that on Spotify also, but there's some platforms you can't. But just any of those sharing or pushing or even something as simple as copying and pasting in a text message to one person that you know, you know, that helps everything. You know, if you are enjoying what you're listening to, there are many more people that would get something out of these episodes. And it couldn't, it might not be this episode. You might be listening to this right now like wow that's that was a different episode and you might enjoy it or you might not message us let us know what you guys want to hear if you're listening to this you've either heard this one and this is the first episode i would recommend go to one two and three and listen to those um but what do you guys like to hear we have a few inspirational episodes on this podcast we have you know most of them are you know hour long 45 to an hour long talks with outdoor industry guys and and do you enjoy everything. do you enjoy the really short ones that reese has done too a lot more yeah i created um, those because brennan Burchard, i listen to him on a daily and he has five minute just quick five minute inspirational stuff and he has 15 minute inspirational stuff and i don't mean inspirational stuff it's more of like a coaching you know kind of peppering you peppering like you up for the pump, day in a sense up. and he has these little short ones, and I was like, you know what? I think I should start creating those because those are the ones that, if you only have a 10 minute drive to work, then that's something you can listen to. And it's super short and sweet. And uh, just let us know what you guys think. Um, shoot us a message, shoot us an email, uh, support at beardedoutdoorsusa.com. Uh, follow us on 
Instagram and Facebook and all those other things, Bearded Outdoors USA, uh, the Bearded Outdoors podcast on Facebook. We have a page for that where you can actually listen to our podcast episodes if you aren't listening right now. Um, and that is the best way or perfect way, I guess you can say. You can you can message that on Facebook to every one of your friends and, and get yep. the word across that way. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you continue to do better and be better. Um, God bless. See y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please share with one friend right now who you feel needs to be inspired or who you feel could really use our messages in their day. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time.